Hey guys, it is Matisse, The Young Investor, and today I'm bringing you guys an analysis video on a stock named IRO, ticker symbol A-Y-R-O. Now, I personally think this stock has a lot of potential, but make sure you guys are doing your own research and not just listening to some crazy kid on the internet. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, so Iro is an EV company. Now before you click off because you're super skeptical of the EV market and how you think it's a bubble, let me tell you why they are different. So right now, Tesla and Neo and all of these big car companies are focusing basically on direct to consumer vehicles, right? These things with all these fancy things so people can get to work and back. But Iro is going after a different sort of market and industry. They're ignoring these crazy techie things like autonomous driving and that all that sorts of stuff. And they're trying to make an EV vehicle that directly benefits a more of a niche market and doesn't need those comfort and luxury uh, features in their cars. So let me show you what their models are and what kind of car they have. All right, so the model that they are working on are the Club Car 311 and 411. Now, both of these cars, or at least the Club Car 411, has been delivered since fall of 2019. Now, I know the Club Car 411 has. I'm sure that the 311 has been produced a little bit, but it hasn't reached the same level of distribution and actual usage as the club car 411 now the club car 411 is going to be mainly used in college campuses government facilities and large hotels so it basically functions sort of like a golf cart but it has a little bit more space and it's like a mini truck as you can see from the picture now this car could be useful when transferring good goods around just you never know i'm sure if you guys have been on a college campus you've seen these sort of trucks going around but almost none of them are electrically powered and if college campuses were able to transition to electric powered vehicles they could save almost 50 percent on uh, as opposed to gas powered vehicles so that is just one reason and what iro is trying to do with their vehicles okay so before we talk about anything else i want to talk about iro's graph because it is one of the other main reasons why my price target is so high so when we look at the three month chart here, as we can see in October, it was pretty flat sitting at $2 and the huge burst in November for all EVs absolutely exploded the stock up to $10. And then since then it has basically cooled off and started consolidating. So now that it has been consolidating since around December, uh, since the start of December, I think it just gives it so much room to absolutely blow up later in the year and continuing to go up and up and up because of new contracts or new news or just overall recognition as to why this stock has so much potential. So there you guys go. That's just a quick analysis of the graph. Okay. So um, Iro is basically focusing on an industry that is called the purpose build and low speed electric vehicle market. Now this market is expected to grow, sorry, grow to $23.9 billion in sales by 2026. And as Iro is somewhat leading in this industry, I think that is a huge deal and could definitely help to their evaluation into becoming a billion dollar company. Um, now, all of Iro's cars are street legal, which I think is important in case they needed to just get on the street for really quickly to get back onto maybe side roads and whatnot. But their cars are street legal and they have real models, which is super important. All right, so the biggest reason why I think Iro is a buy is because of their strategic partnership with Club Car. Now, Club Car is a company that makes golf carts, and they are one of the leading companies in the golf cart industry, which I think is a huge deal. Now, not only does this give Iro an in with colleges and other areas of the market, is it gives them the ability to talk with a company that has already succeeded in this market area. 
And just because of that, I think it adds so much to Iroh's evaluation and why they're such a strong buy. Because when you are partnering with a company that knows what they are doing, that have had success in this market, you have so much more potential because they know how distribution works. They know who needs these things and how the car works. So not only do they have this in, they have a working model, they have deliveries, and they have a good balance sheet. So let's get into that. All right, so I will leave their balance sheet in the description just to take a look at it. But the amount of money that they have managed to uh, grow and build and raise since 2019 up to now is phenomenal. And I think it just shows that this company can grow and that their assets uh, outweigh their liabilities by a decent amount. So go ahead and check out the balance sheet for yourself below if you're interested all right so one last thing where i think their car may be used but this is about their model 311 instead of their model 411 now the model 311 is looking for an in in the food delivery service now this is a competitive market especially when there are going to be autonomous vehicles which is why this side doesn't add too much to their valuation for me so obviously we can talk about Tesla and their autonomous vehicles and how the autonomous taxi program will probably end up taking over in the near future. But I think Iro could still have some part of this market share in the earlier stages of this market. Okay, so finally, let's get into my price target and some cons for this company. So some cons for this company is that overall, I think that this market will be nowhere near as big as the autonomous vehicle market and other versions of electric vehicles. But I do think that with this niche market, they can still make lots and lots of money and their stock price can go up so we can make money. So I think that's one con is that their market isn't that big and the potential, although there is a lot of potential, I think it is somewhat limited compared to other electric vehicle manufacturers. And another con is just the fact that how much is this type of car needed, right? How much are colleges and government facilities really going to want to transition? And are they going to give them their business to Iro? So I think that's two things to keep in mind when it comes to this company, because there is a lot of risk, but I do think they are established. And I think that the reward outweighs the risk in this case, which is why they are a buy to me, but make sure you always do your own research. Now my price target for this stock, because it, right now it is sitting around $6.93, my price target for this stock is around $15 in the next six months to a year. Now that would be a huge gain, but I think the potential is there in the next year with some contracts and being able to deliver and more people actually recognizing this stock because I haven't seen many articles, many videos, just overall not too much being written about the stock so it isn't hyped up yet and i think that could even add to its price and overall why my price target is fairly high all right so before i end the video i just want to talk about the ceo really quick i personally like him i think he speaks well and he has been in the electric space for over 10 years which i think is a huge deal he knows what he's doing and he was actually the president of segway before they sold the company so i think that adds a little bit of value i think he knows what he's doing when it comes to electric vehicles Alrighty guys, so quick summary of this company as to why I think they are a buy. I think that they can have a huge part of the market share when it comes to purpose build, low speed electric vehicles. They have a working model and they have a partnership with Club Car. So that's just the three pros right there that I think is going to drive the stock price up. And that is about it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Smash like below and that's about it. See ya.